a full moon. It's one of the most beautiful sights in the night sky. It also seems to be one of the biggest things up there, at least from our point of view. But if we could see gamma rays? Oh boy. Meet Centaurus A, one of the closest galaxies to our own Milky Way at 11 million light years. But what makes it special compared to other galaxies? To answer that, first we'll need to understand a phenomenon called inverse Compton scattering, which takes place here in the radio lobes. This is a microwave photon left over from the Big Bang. It's one of the weakest forms of light in existence. But if it flies into one of Centaurus A's radio lobes, or any galaxy's radio lobes, it gets pelted with incredibly fast electrons. And if it collides with one, the microwave gets a huge energy boost. But for a long time, it was believed that a lowly microwave photon could never achieve the highest form of light energy through this process. But Centaurus A changed that by giving us the first solid evidence of what started as a microwave photon being transformed into... a gamma ray photon, the highest energy photon in existence. Up until this point, around 2010, we had seen gamma-ray photons result from inverse Compton scattering, but only when they'd started out at a higher energy, like infrared or visible spectrum. It's like NASA themselves said, with Centaurus A, Fermi hit the jackpot.